We're live again from DeFabio Spine and Support Rehab. I'm Dr. Donald DeFabio. My schedule's been a little hectic lately, so it's not always Wednesday, but I will be going live with your rehab tips. We're going to go over glute medius progression. It's all about progressions. Whatever you're doing, you have to start at one level and progress to the next and progress to the next. I'm all about progressions. So that, and what we're going to talk about today is the gluteus medius progression. Your glute med is your butt muscle that keeps you level and it prevents the hips from dropping all right, when we're walking and running and moving around. Essential for hip and pelvic stability, essential for protecting the knee. Let's get to work. The glute med, the first exercise we want to do are clamshells. Hey Mike, say hi to everybody. What's going on? That's Mike, all right. So, feet are stacked, knees are stacked, hips are stacked. He's not up against the wall, okay, so he's not touching the wall, all right? Fingers are right over here. You can feel those glute muscles, and you open up like a clamshell, okay? Come up, hold for a second, and go slowly down. Come up, hold for a second, go slowly down. Body weight. These are body weight sequence. We'll go over stretch band next time. Phase two, you're going to lift the foot up. Second one. And clamshell, keeping that foot up in the air. That's the second phase. How many? Three sets of 15. When you can get to three sets of 15 at level one, you go to level two. When you get to three sets of 15 at level two, you go to level three. Show them the next exercise. Feet are up. Clamshell, extend. Go back to position. Close. Clamshell, extend. Go back to position. Close, and you notice the only thing that's moving is the hip and the knee. Look how stable his upper body and core are. That's great. And one more, and down. Then we really want to load it. Now these are all body weights, three sets of 15. Jill, the ball please. A weighted ball. Put that two pounds between the feet, rotate it up, and go. Three sets of 15 that way. So that's going to be your body weight progression for your clamshells. When that gets easy, you can practice your throwing and catching exercises. Jill, man, my stretch band, please. When that gets easy, we go to a CLX band, okay? Then we start to do our series with the stretch band. The easiest one you can do is just to put a loop around one leg, and then I'll just hold it down here, Mike. Ah, put it right in through here. Or loop around the other leg. And they do clamshells from there. But after that, we go to weight bearing standing clamshells with the CLX, or not clamshells, glute meads. That's what we're going to talk about next week. Be sure you subscribe so you get my updates as soon as I do them, because they will be a little erratic with my lecture and travel schedule. And also, talk to your doc about what exercises are best for you. These are all excellent exercises, but maybe not for you. I'm Dr. Donald DeFabio. Thanks for subscribing.